Hey guys, my name is Sobi. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about uh, small code optimization. For example, if we have a route for create, a route for delete, a, write, a route for update, and a route for index, um, mostly the people um, or developers at the first stage of their careers are using different routes for each one. But in Laravel, you can create actually if, uh, resource controllers. And uh, today I would like to optimize a code that we've written previously and to make it in a simple API resource controller. So let's get started with this and uh, see how we can implement this, uh, this functionality. Okay, so. Good. So this is the user controller which, we, which we've created and we will open our route file uh, API version one. And as you can see, we have the uh, get put delete patch. We don't have an index, but we have the show store destroyer update. Okay, we can change the order for this, but this can be made in one line actually. So we can use something like this route API resource, resource, and we will give give the class. It will be called user, and the class will be user controller class. And uh, since we have only four methods in this class, we will use a uh, method called only and only will uh, represent only those methods which we want to use from this class so for for now it's show store update and destroy okay and for now let's comment out these lines and see what's our output for this docker let's connect to our public api demo app okay and terminal good so php artisan route list let's see the output so we have an error because it says the user controller class does not exist we have to import this imported and let's rerun the command and now we have the same routes or routes but with one single line. So we have the post, get, add, put, patch, or delete. So we have the, the same functionality as user show, user delete, user update, user destroy. So for example, we want to user get, okay? Let's open our um, postman. I have to change my workplace, workspace, sorry. Okay, and uh, let's see the get user resource. Okay, we we have the same uh, URLs. Okay, so we have an error because it says the v1 user is not existing. Does not exist, v1 user user. Okay, because we have the prefix, we have to, to delete this. Okay, and let's see it now. So we have the same routes working as before, but instead of four lines, we've remained only with one single line. Okay, so um, these were, this was a small optimization of different routes into one single line. Instead of four lines, we have one single line through the API resource controller. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.